You look at what John Wall's doing this year. He's ranked second in the league in assists. He's second in steals. He's top 30 in scoring. Given where the Wizards are right now and how well John Wall is playing, Neil, I'll ask you, do you think he's the best point guard in the NBA? No, and it's not even close. Okay. I mean, I'm not even sure he's in the top five. You look at some of the advanced metrics, and yeah. he's probably just outside the top five. You can probably make an argument that he belongs in the top five, mm -hmm. but you know, Stephon Curry, Chris, Chris Paul, clearly better than John Wall. I don't even think... Not to say that he's not valuable to the team, he's not valuable in the league, yeah. but he's not the best point guard in the NBA. Well, Rick, if you're building a team right now, is John Wall the point guard you want to start with? I think he's definitely in the top five. Okay. I mean, if you're saying, who am I going to build my team around for the next five years, yeah. John Wall is a pretty good candidate. <laughs> I think it's hard to ever pick John Wall, John Wall over a guy like Chris Paul. I mean, yeah. that guy brings so much, uh, not just, forget about what he does on the court. I mean, that guy is a leader um, across the league, but yeah. especially in his, in his uh, own locker room. Right. And John's still growing into that kind of role, and I think he, he could get there, but he's not there right now. So I think there's a lot of distance between, between uh, you know, Chris Paul and the other ones, um, even though we're kind of this golden age of point guards yeah, right now. Yeah, that's right. Well, Adam, do you see that much of a separation between John Wall and Chris Paul or other point guards in the league? I do think Curry and Paul are pretty clear one, too. They're, they're, like a, they're a little bit, they're pretty far ahead of the pack. But in that next sort of level, Wall's, Wall's right there. I mean, to me, I, he's, I think he's definitely top five. He might be three for me. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I guess you talk about Damian Lillard. Yeah. Um, you know, you talk about Rondo. 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 Well, he's not scoring much. Ty shots off. Ty Lawson. Lawson. Westbrook. I like Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. Yeah, Westbrook. Westbrook's healthy. I really like, um, um, I'm forgetting his name, the guy from Toronto. Uh, Kyle Lowry. Lowry. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Lowry. Lowry. I think he's Kyle Lowry. Right but Wall was right there. I mean, you can't say enough good and things about And a healthy Derrick Rose, of course, is always. He's good. taking this team over. I mean, the way I keep going back to, yeah. the, the thing that I keep going back to is that you go back to, like, wh wh when they didn't have Beal, how well they started without Bradley Beal. Yeah. I think that's, that's what set the whole Wizards thing. I think that so much of that was on John Wall, but how he sort of led the team and just kind of took it over. Right. Um, and that was really impressive. He's definitely taken – he was an all-star last year, deservedly so. He's gone to a, even a whole other level. And his defense is one reason why I think that he belongs in that discussion. I mean, he's, he might be the best defensive point guard in the yeah, league. Yeah, right second there. in seals, you talked about that. Rick, is there anything he can do to, to – to, to be in the conversation with Chris Paul in the season, or is this going to be a process that's going to take a few years for it to develop? No, I mean, when this conversation actually has meaning is May and June. So, right, right. I mean, he can certainly lead this team to the best record possible, but to really cement your place in, you know, the top two or three of that conversation, you know, you got to win in the playoffs, and John's had limited opportunity to do that. This year, you know, you, you win a couple rounds, and, you know, he's going he's to garner so much respect around the league. And, you know, regular season stats and what you do in December is great. Yeah. And this is going to set them up for whatever playoff run they do. But, I mean, when you talk about great NBA players, it's guys that won in the playoffs, not guys that, that did it, you know, in the first quarter yeah, of the Think season. about what he can do for his reputation if he goes through Derrick Rose, Kyle right. Lowry. You know, the, the, the kind of guys he's going to meet up in the playoffs in these East Coast are going to be really tough. Um, I think he's up to it. It's going to be great to watch. Well, Neil, yeah, can he get to the top of the point guard mountain by the end of the season, or is it a longer process? Yeah, I mean, he's only 24 years yeah. old also, right? The guys we're comparing him to are much more seasoned in the league. Yeah. His, his, the biggest knock against him right now is his shot selection. I mean, he, pull, he <laughs> takes these mid-range jumpers that he really has no business taking. But, yeah, I mean, the playoffs go a long way to cementing status in terms of ability to be the best, oh. and that's what we'll have to wait and see.